Hey everyone, Tim here from KiwiKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install TeamWin Recovery Twerp Recovery on your AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note i717. Some developers do recommend that you have Twerp Recovery installed over Clockwork Mod when you install their ROMs, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video showing you how to install Twerp. Uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with Clockwork Mod, it's just some prefer Twerp over Clockwork Mod. Clockwork, Clockwork Mod is what's included when you do root your device, so this will show you how to overwrite that and install Twerp Recovery. So you need to make sure you are rooted first. So now go ahead and navigate to the description of the video and click on the link that is in the description. It's going to go ahead and download a file for you. It's going to be a zip file, it's going to be a recovery uh, open recovery twerp 2.2.2.0 zip file. Uh, let that download. Once it downloads, go ahead and transfer it over to your device, whether it be on internal or external storage, it does not matter. But once you've transferred that zip file over, you can go ahead and get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off the phone, or you can hit reboot recovery if your ROM allows for that option. But otherwise, I'm going to let this power off. Once fully powered off, we're going to need to get into the recovery, press and hold volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time until that first Samsung screen lights up. Let go once it does, so let go once that lights up, and then it should reboot us into our custom recovery, which is Clockwork Mod at the moment. And there we go, Clockwork Mod 5.5.0.4. So this is what we are overriding, so when you go into our recovery, you will have twerp recovery as opposed to Clockwork Mod based recovery. <laughs> But now all we're going to have to do to install Twerp Recovery is go down to Install Zip from SD Card, select it, and then go ahead and hit Choose Zip from SD Card or Internal SD Card, wherever you transfer that file to. Select that and then go ahead and find that recovery zip that you just put on your device. Select that and hit Yes. Install Open Recovery Zip File, hit Yes. It's going to go ahead and run through the install script and install the uh, recovery to your device. It says Install from SD Card Complete. Now what I recommend doing is hitting go back and then reboot system now. That is uh, just kind of what I recommend doing. Just make sure the system does a full reboot and then we can go ahead and go into our new recovery. So now let your phone boot back up. The boot up could take a little bit longer than usual so just kind of keep that in mind. But let it boot up. I will be back. All right, now once our phone's fully uh, booted right back on up, which didn't take to actually too long at all. So now what all you have to do is you can go back to your recovery. You should have the new recovery now. I'm gonna hit restart recovery uh, just because I already showed you how to do it manually. So I'm gonna reboot my phone into my custom recovery, which will be Twerp. So let's go ahead and do a quick overview of Twerp recovery. All right, so my phone has now rebooted into my new custom recovery, Twerp Recovery, uh, Team Win Recovery Project version 2.2.2.0. Right up at the top lets you know the time, which I believe you can mess with the time settings. That time is actually right, so it's central time right now. And battery percentage as well, which is nice to know, letting you know what your battery is at. Anyways, it is a full touch screen recovery, so you can touch any of these buttons. Let's say I wanted to do install a zip, I can just go to install, and you'll see my internal storage loads up. You can use external SD as well. You have a back arrow in the bottom right and a home button in the bottom left that you can use. Here's a, a full wipe menu, so all your options to wipe, whether you want to do a factory reset, cache, Dalvik cache system, uh, external, internal storage, you can wipe those through that menu. You can make an Android backup, so go to your backup menu, and you can rename those as well. You can hit set backup name, and let's say I wanted to call it uh, AOKP. If you're running the AOKP ROM, you want to call it AOKP, hit backup, and then it will go ahead and uh, set that backup named AOKP, so you know exactly what it is. You just hit swipe to backup, and it backs up your current system. You restore it with this button right here. There's a mount option, which you can mount system, uh, mount SD card, mount internal SD card as well. There's some settings where you can change the time zone like I said, there's also some various settings here. Don't mess with any of those unless you know exactly what you are doing. There's an advanced menu, copy logs, fix permissions, partition SD card, file manager, terminal command reload theme. There's a file manager right here, so that's kind of neat that they have that within the recovery. And then you have a reboot option where you can reboot system, reboot recovery, reboot download mode, and power off the device as well. So that's just a full overview of Torp Recovery on your at t Samsung Galaxy Note. I'm just going to hit uh, reboot system because I want my phone to boot back up, and there we have it. So that's how you get out of it. Uh, otherwise, you can just install a, a zip file and then you can hit reboot after you do that. But that would be it. So that would be how to install Torp Recovery on your at t Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. I'm also using a fly grip to stand this phone up uh, vertically. You can do it horizontally as well. Makes it so much easier to hold the device. So be sure to check out fly grip, the fly grip on, uh, on your note. I will link to 
uh, in the description of the video where you can get one. You can get free shipping. I'll post the code in the description as well, so be sure to check it out. And that's it, though. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.